talk a little bit about um, check handling or c cutting checks and sizing into checks. It's really become popular. Uh, the game of hold'em and poker is really popular uh, today. So you, you see people at the games handling checks and some look very professional and others look very amateurish. It's really amateurish to see a professional poker player come out and, and sort of let chips drop out of his hand to, to try to make, a, uh, to make a bet. When in fact um, it's very simple to learn to cut checks and to make it look, uh, look, look very professional. Uh, first thing is, is how to handle an entire stack and, and ch uh, checks or chips are always in stacks of 20 in a casino and when you have a stack in front of you it's very, simply to, uh, very simple to put your thumb on the top and roll the entire stack back and then pick them up. Um, you almost never want to see a dealer well, put their hands over the chips like this and hand them off to you because it's possible, as I just did, to steal a couple of the checks. So they will also put their th index finger on the top and another method of handing off an entire stack. But let's look at how you cut checks in order to make it look good. I'm, I'm going to start with, a, with only 10 checks rather than an entire stack because it's much easier for you to learn it this way. And the basic starting position is to hold the, the chips as I have with uh, completely surrounded by your fingers. Uh, your thumb on one side and the fingers, um, the little finger and index finger on the sides and the ring finger and middle finger uh, on the opposite side of the thumb. And you're going to learn with the first thing which is called a drop cutting. And instead of just dropping chips like that which looks kind of unprofessional, you actually use your index finger to separate the chips at whatever point you want, in this case two checks or two chips, and you set them down. Now, here's uh, the first thing you're going to learn and that is to push the checks. And you're going to push with your thumb and baby finger or your thumb and ring finger, whichever you prefer, and you push at the checks that you just drop cut. And when you get there and just touch them, you stop. The ring finger excuse me, the thumb and little finger actually now become a hinge. They do not pull back, they just hinge back and forth, hinge back and forth. What you have just done is pushed and sized in. The index finger comes across and scrapes over the front uh, pile and s matches the size as you hinge, hinge. And then you drop and push, hinge, drop, push, hinge, drop. As you pick them up, you have your middle finger and thumb on the opposite sides of the checks and your index finger goes on top and actually becomes shorter. It begins to, the index finger begins to, to, to curl as you pick up more and more checks so that you have complete control of the checks if you want to hand them off or put them up as a bet and once you've, been, once you've learned to do that with two checks, then add five more checks and do the same drop cut but with three. And you push. You don't have to push from a great distance. I'm doing this for exaggeration. And you push and push and push. And this is what the, the uh, check cut looks like. And you'll see dealers use this uh, throughout the gaming world. Once you've learned it with your right hand. For certain games you've got to be able to cut with both hands and so you'll learn to do it with your left hand if you were a dealer. If you're a poker player it's probably only sufficient that you learn it with one hand. Uh, there, uh, and once you've learned with 15 checks then you move to 20 and you're going to really want to do that in either fours or fives. Now I'm using $25 chips and $25 chips are always broken down in four and you're sizing in and if you notice that this is hinging it's not pulling back and I'm actually always hinging watch again I'm actually always hinging and pulling back with the index finger the index finger sizes uses the front stack as the as the gauge and you size and pull back now that's the way you might see a dealer and you notice as I pick them up 
the index finger got shorter and shorter, so I'm actually controlling this entire stack with just three fingers. The, the, thumb and index, the thumb and ring finger on the sides, the index finger on the top, and I could hand those checks off.